she's having a, to start with, with no points. So she had a match up with Yuka Nishida, a um, quality player herself, and um, ended up by arm locking uh, N Nishida. And Nishida went off with a, in a lot of pain. So um, I've been in the warm up area just to make sure, well, not, I'm no doctor, but I, I like to be able to bring, <laughs> bring you some information about what's happened to some of the players so I pop back there to have a look and she's pretty um she's in a lot of pain but it's not broken it's not dislocated the Japanese physiotherapist is having a good look at her I think it's just you know one of those very very painful uh, positions so Nishida is okay but she won't be taking any further part in the in the tournament He Hong Mei certainly will and just looking at the uh, the the, the matchups in that qu quarter. Um, it'll be he against uh, Cherniak of the Ukraine, and the winner of that will go through to fight. I would imagine uh, Anna Karaskosa of Spain in the quarter final. So let's come back to the category that you've been uh, watching, and that's the under-73 category. Papo of Switzerland still got that very heavily bandaged left foot, and he's still favoring it after a couple of weeks. We saw him in Tbilisi when he was really struggling. He just I don't think he should have been on the map, to be honest, but... You know, he came out, and uh, here he is again. He seems to be working through the the pain barrier. And uh, he's up against his Turkish uh, opponent. Yuzu's had a win of uh, chair of Slovenia in his first round match. Just looking um, around at this category at some of the potential players to look out for. Right at the top of the draw is uh, the Belgian Dirk van Tichelt. He's um, up against some tough opposition at the top there. David Kuprashvili, a Georgian player, and Marlo Schendel, Tiong Li from Korea. Gilles Bonhomme from France is also up in that top half and, and a particular favorite of mine, the Russian Mansur Isaev is, um, and they're all in that top quarter as well. So there's a lot going on. Actually, Mans Isaev is in the quarter just below. Isaev is in with um, Aren Seba, who similar to Darbele, um, who we were talking about a moment ago, has moved up from 66 kilos to 73. And I think um, Aren Seba's move is permanent. I don't see him um, going back down. He's already scoring points here and qualifying, um, getting a qualifying position. So I think they've decided that He's had enough at 66 and he's going up to 73 now. There was talk of um, the Olympic champion, Elna Mamadli, competing here, but I think he's here for the camp 
so he'll, he'll do the training camp but not uh, he won't be competing in fact the only uh, Olympic champion that we've got competing this weekend uh, no we've got two sorry I just um, remembered that in the under 48 uh, kilo category there is the Romanian Alina Dumitru Olympic champion from Beijing and in the plus 100 no under 100 category for men you've got the under 90 kilo category Olympic champion from Georgia uh, Irakli Sirikidze and Sirikidze is up now at um, under 100 kilos he looks really comfortable I saw him in the hotel this morning he was uh, stretched out on a sofa in, in the foyer with his feet up looking perfectly at ease and very very comfortable at this um, new new weight under 100 kilos the under 90 kilo spot for Georgia has gone to Valam Lipatiliani so the Georgians with this wealth of talent um, at under 90 kilos can afford to push Sirikidze up to 100 early on and probably for his own uh, in his own comfort zone if you like as far as making the weight is concerned he'll be fairly happy with that it wasn't as though he was small or, and he certainly doesn't look small at uh, under 100 and he fought at under 100 kilos in the world championship the, the teams for teams in Tokyo towards the end of last year and he was part of that winning team where those two weights 90 kilos and 100 were as they are now um, Lipitelliani at 90 and Sirikidze at 100 they came away with the gold medal Papo decides to take the Shido, he's only got a couple of seconds left so he's seen off the Turkish player much to the, much to the disgust of the Turk but you can't leave it to the last couple of seconds to hope that you'll get a penalty for your um, opponent he spent the whole match not being able to throw him he shakes his head but maybe you can hear me but that's the, that's the way it is you know I'm afraid you're gonna have to throw him if you want to win <laughs> 